Hello, today I'm going to make a mini ear display organizer, if that's what you call it. Um, I was looking around this past Christmas to go in for Colleen because she has a few mini ears that we wanted to hang up and organize as well as display. So I said, why not make one myself? Uh, our family is Disney fans, as you can tell by the skull behind me. <laughs> does have a collection of mini ears as you can see and we always just kind of threw them on a shelf somewhere it was very hard to like display them or put them away anywhere other than just throwing them in a box i made this one for her for christmas uh this one holds 10 uh, but you can make it as long as you want you can make it shorter longer whatever so basically you just follow along the instructions and you can customize it to whatever you want so you can kind of just add your own bow to the top there i picked out pink ribbon and made a mini bow and you can pick out different color snaps here so you don't have to use white i don't sell these maybe i should but i'll show you how i made this one and now uh, you can make it too if you want all right so a couple things you're going to need are uh, these d-rings here and we'll be linking uh, i'll be linking all of this stuff down below in the description so you can see where i bought everything but uh, i used just white buttons here i have a little uh snap kit little button kit plastic buttons like the kits come with different colors but uh i obviously just used the white so i got an extra pack of white uh then i got the pink ribbon here to make the bow for the top um this vinyl webbing here this is like a tie strap material but uh it's called like, like a polypropylene webbing is what it's described as when i purchased it and um you need a little bit of a fire here, whether you use a match or a grill lighter like this one, because once you cut this material, it'll fray. You need a hot glue gun. Not You don't need one as industrial as this gun. Tape measure, obviously, to measure things. But the most important thing you need to make one of these is iced coffee. So, 55 and a half inches uh, for your main part of your webbing. Uh, is what you need to hold 10 the way that ours is. Um, if you obviously divide that amount of space by 10, you'll know how much webbing to use per ear. And then you can just add that on to the length if you want to make a longer one or uh, just subtract it if you want to make a shorter one. And then to keep that cut end from fraying, you want to... very carefully melt the end of the webbing and that will keep it from fraying. So you want to just uh, melt that end a little bit to keep it from fraying. And then you want to take your whichever end looks the worst, your uh, whichever end does not look that clean, which is the end that we just cut and melted. That's the end that you want to put the uh, D-ring through. So you put that through, loop that through that D-ring uh, and you want this to be an inch and a half of webbing here folded back over and then we'll take our hot glue gun and glue that like that. The next thing we got to do is cut all of the straps that are going to be fastened to this piece that it will hold all of the mini ears. So those are eight inch pieces. There's going to be 10 ears. So we got to cut 10 eight inch length pieces here. Alright, we 
got our 10 pieces of strap there and then we got to melt the end of each one. start attaching these straps here to the main center of the organizer and this first strap is going to get glued on five and a quarter inches down so it's going to get glued on right there and then each one after that is going to be five inches apart so the next one will get glued down five inches from here down and then so on every five inches all ten of them so we'll put them on now you apply this hot glue just like this And then stick it on. We already got uh, one here, so five, ten. So now we're at the 15 inch mark. It's hard to do one handed, but get that right in there. Get the 15 inch mark. A little pressure for a couple seconds. And as you're moving along, then the rest of these are going to be cooling down and drying and stuck on. And if you don't like how bunched up mine are, then you can always just uh, add spacing. You know, I, I have mine five inches apart here. Each strap is five inches apart. So if, if you want a little more space, you know, just add six inches, seven inches, whatever you want to make yours look good, how you want it. Uh, I liked the spacing of this so they're a little bit overlapped but you can still get a good view of them all all of the strap pieces are on like i said every five inches i'm done with the hot glue gun for now all of these are glued on i'm done for that so i shut that off for now we'll need it in a little bit later but we're going to do all of our uh, buttons add all of our buttons to uh, each strap here so a button will go on the end of the strap here and we'll add the other piece just above where this is glued on and then this will lift up and strap it and that's what holds your mini ear right there so we'll start putting the buttons on with our little crimping button kit here and the link the link to this kit will be down below in the description um, most of the stuff or i think all of the stuff we got off of uh, amazon so this kit will be on there. This uh, webbing will be on there. There's some extra button material down there. will be on there. D-rings. I think I got this at Michael's. You can probably buy this anywhere too. Amazon, any uh, craft supply place. And there, there was a little Disney section at Michael's. So there's other options, but I just chose to go with the pink. But we're going to start putting the buttons on now. To make your buttons, you got uh, three little parts here. You got the female ends here and the male ends here so these are the part that uh will snap together and then you have these i don't know the technical names of these things but um you're gonna have a plate like this helping to secure the female end in and the same plate helping to secure the male part on the first thing we're gonna do is take this pointy tool here and puncture the webbing that'll help put this little uh, pointy end on this plate through the webbing and then we have the puncture tool out we're going to puncture the end of this to put the install the other piece and this is going to be the face of your snap button whatever you want to call it and then you take your little
crimping tool here, rest that plate on there, and then the rubber end here pushes down, and you just give it a good squeeze, and it mashes that little spike flat, and that's what holds this together. So now we install this other one. That one looks like get it lined up and centered in the crimping tool and give it a squeeze. And now you have a completed snap. And that's what you're gonna use to hold the ears in place. All right, we just have one button fail already. So this piece here had fallen off. And it's because I didn't squeeze hard enough the first time. So you really want to squeeze this as far down as it'll go to ensure that that little spike in there mashes flat enough to hold this secure or else you'll run into problems. But there you go, a little plastic custom snap. One thing about these little plastic snaps here, they, they are plastic and they are cheap. So, they're good for arts and crafts projects, things like that, but um, they do fall apart very easily. So this is all of my waste and failed snaps. Um, so a good trick is basically when you're putting these together, you want to line up the crimper dead center. So when you're smushing that little spike of plastic in there, the piece right in there when you're smashing that little spike of plastic it's evenly smushed inside there or else you'll have button fails like this you probably even see here's one let's see it's smashed more to one side than the other here's one smashed more to one side than the other and they just fail uh, and then if you're looking to make these to sell them, obviously you don't want to be giving people bad product or they won't buy more. So, you know, once you get this all set up like this, you just test them, snap and unsnap, snap and unsnap, and make sure they're not going to fall apart. And make sure that your crimping is smushed as centered as possible. That way it has less of a chance to pull apart. All right, last thing we gotta do is glue the little bow up top here and this will be finished. Very simple, they do, like I said, you can use different colored uh, snaps here. The kit comes with different colors, but you can buy extra bags of whatever color you want. So if you wanna do pink, red, you know, whatever, it's, it's your creation, so you do whatever you want. And how do you tie that bow out of ribbon, you ask? I have no idea. I did it one time for that bow and I've never done it again. So I'm going to look it up again and teach myself how to tie it. And I'm going to insert that photo right here. All right, and there you have the bow. Just hot glued that on and then I put a little dab of glue under there to pull these tails down so when it's hanging it looks like it looks like I know what I'm doing right and there we have another mini ear display organizer pretty simple pretty cost-effective well there you have it how to make your very own mini ear organizer display good luck in making yours and remember time is everything money is a tool and we can't afford to waste either one last tag